Okay, everybody, what we have here is a statue I was looking for for a very long time. This is a custom gambit quarter scale from the Philippines. Um, I got this off a, a friend of a friend, um, thankfully. Uh, basically, there's a lot of problems with it. Um, one being, I think, the paint is just really, really bad on this. Uh, it's the jacket is done with like a automotive. It might have like clear on it. It's very shiny. It kind of looks like pleatherish. You know, uh, that's just not really gambit to me. Uh, the silver on the boots just doesn't work. It's like a matte silver, but everything else is gloss. Um, I don't know if I can get close enough so you can see, but you can actually see like the, the brush strokes. Uh, I don't really think this was done so much with an uh, airbrush. Um, they really didn't sand a lot before painting. Um, there's some cracks. You know, I don't know if you can see it, but there are cracks. The face when they where they tried to do the beard at, it's just like a smudged up gray. Everything's very shiny and you know uh, it's a, a really good sculpt, especially behind the knee pads. Um, there. And here, I don't know if I can get in there, so yeah, but that's bothering me. Uh, another, you know, there's a paint smudge there. Um, but another issue that I had with this is I hate the base, so I'm going to make a custom base. It's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, they went with a clear resin for the Gambit cards. Now, one is on the countertop because it came to me broken. And they're very orange, like they're they're fiery looking, almost like a human torch. I think maybe, you know, the the painters didn't know what to go with. It should be like a like a hot pink, like energy, like uh, in Gambit's first appearance, he charged his cards with uh, green energy, and that's the only other color I've ever seen it besides pink. But this is very orange, if you can tell. Um, the way this was supposed to work, and I can only guess that the person before. Uh, me who had it uh, maybe didn't know you know these things don't come with directions but this was one solid piece that connected to here um, basically what happens is the hand sits in the coat like so and then this was like I say in one piece and connected somehow and went to his leg um, I don't like that whole like hole in his leg thing with the peg Basically, I think maybe the the person who had this before should have heated this energy card up a little bit and tried to play with it and bend it, you know what I mean, so it would have worked. Fortunately, that didn't happen, um, so it snapped. And there's no real way for me to, I mean, you could, you know, you could see how it, it, it just, it doesn't match up. So what I did is I actually shaved this down, tapered it. Um, on my bandsaw, then I'm going to sand it down real good, and then I'm going to repaint these. You know, you're going to lose the clear resin, you know, the uh, effect of it, but you can't really see it because they went so heavy on the paint with it. I'll try and hold it up to the light so you can see, I mean, a, a little bit, but I'm going to go my way with it. Um, so basically, I'm going to repaint this whole guy. It's going to be my first paint up. This thing right here is coming out. I'll fill that hole with some Aves, and then what he's going to look like repainted is that. I mean, looks a lot more believable than you know his energy coming out of his uh, his upper leg. But hope all goes well. This is my first paint up, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks. Okay, guys, this is the finished quarter scale. Gambit custom from overseas. I uh, repainted them, resculpted them. Uh, a lot of definition, uh, pearls. Uh, I customized the charging card, put a pin in his hand. Um, metallics, redid the boots, gave him a custom base, which I think works a lot better than the last one. Um, the uh, skin tones came out nice. I borrowed this camera so I don't really know how it works. Bear with me.
actually got the gums in between the teeth you know the red eyes um, paint looks really good back up here A lot of work, a lot of fun. Uh, had to patch them a lot of places. And I'm going to stick this back on the tripod. Try and straighten it out for you. Okay, you guys, a little more steady now. I'm on a tripod. Uh, I put the full size Bowen gambit next to him so you can see the size reference. So that's roughly a 12 inch piece. This thing is really, really big. It's going to be pretty hard to display. Um, but as you can see now, it's steady. The uh, paint job, I'm really proud of it. This is technically my first paint job ever besides the, the bust at Jersey Fest. Um, didn't really know what I was doing. Kind of winged it the whole time. And uh, I'm definitely really proud of how it came out. Um, the cards are nice. The base is original, sweet. Um, that's basically it. I'm going to get down and do a little 360 of it for you. Thanks for watching, more to come.